This glass of water represents your energy. Here's what you need to know. If you don't get a handle on how to manage this, you will never be able to create the life or success that you desire. And that's why today I'm going to share one thing with you that you need to focus on if you are looking to create a great and successful life. Because here's the truth. Either you will design the life that you want or someone else will design it for you. Welcome back to another week here on the Mentality of Success. And today we're going to be jumping into uh, one of my favorite topics. And those of you that have followed before, um, you know, I always like to talk about the four greatest currencies in life. And we won't go through all four, but what you need to know is the number one currency in life is time. And I like to think about these, these currencies as life builders, because these four things are what we really use to build the life that we desire. It's time knowledge, network, and money. Some people think that money is the only thing that you can build a great life with. And money is important, but money is not the number one thing that we build a great life with. Because if I gave you a bunch of money but took all your time, you wouldn't take that deal, right? Most of us wouldn't. So today, let's talk about the one thing you need to focus on if you are going to build a great life, which is your time. And you've probably heard me say this before, but today I think it's important to, to look at this from an even um, deeper perspective. So let's go to the board. I think I have some some old work on here from a, a previous class. Uh, but let's I want to show you something here on the board because time is time is important. We want to focus on on our time. But what aspect of time? When I tell people about this, I think they get it at the surface level. But the number one element of your time, the number one thing that's most important when it comes to your time is your energy. Your energy is one of the greatest promoters of your time. There's a reason why low energy, when we usually are at a low level of energy, we are at a low level of, of quality when it comes to how we manage our time. In the opener, you heard me say that either you design your life or someone else will. And here's what I meant by that. There are about, what's the, how's that song say? 525,600 minutes, right? That's like so out of key, sorry. But that's the amount of minutes we have per year, right? And each minute, if you think about it, is ultimately designing your life for that year. Think about it. And if you haven't thought about it, then that means someone else is designing that time for your year or something else is designing that time for your year. Because here's the truth. It's going to be designed. That's the given your life for the for whatever. I think we're in we're at week. What? Thirty four. Let me see. Let me check my phone here. Live. Thirty six weeks left. We have 36 weeks left, which means we're approaching um, the halfway mark. We're about 10 weeks out from the halfway mark, which means you're almost at the halfway mark of that 500, 525,600 minutes. And so here's my question for you. So far this year, how much of your life have you intentionally designed? What was the vision at the beginning of the year and how, how close have you got? Have you gotten to designing that? That, that outcome, that goal. And this isn't to make you feel bad. I, I, don't, I don't want you to feel um, like, you're, like you failed. <laughs> That's not the goal here. The goal is to become aware. Our, our avoidance techniques in our mind, we don't want to think about the hard things because it's overwhelming or it may be frustrating or stressful. That's just a, um, it's anti-design. Because when we understand that our life is going to be designed whether we participate or not, then the, the smart choice is to say, you know what, I'm going to think about these hard things, even though they're hard. And I'm with you, they're hard, but they're worth it. And so if we're going to design and be intentional about designing the success and the life that we want, we got to get a hold of this thing um, called energy, because our time is really dictated. The quality of our time is really, really dictated by the quality of our energy. And so the question you may have is what makes for high quality uh, energy? What makes what, what makes our energy, um, what helps our energy stay at a high level? 
right? Stay at a, a high quality level. And for that, let's go to the board here. And let's just put, we'll put energy in the middle here. And we know one of the first things that dictates our energy is the intake, the food that we put in our, in our bodies. Now this may sound like, okay, Josh, I didn't expect to get like a diet. <laughs> I didn't expect you to talk about diet today, but, but I need you to know everything is energy. So everything we put into our body gets, gets whether it, it gets first discerned if it's high quality or low quality, and then that determines the amount of energy that's used to feed the rest of our body. Everything is energy. We then take that energy and we put it into things. So food, that's just a given, right? But here's the other areas. The other areas that we expend our energy on is our thoughts and our actions. These are three areas that this, this little cup of, of water I showed you earlier, this here, these are the three areas that this gets spent on. If you broke down your life and you looked at your daily schedule, you were spending this energy here on what you think. That's where we spend the most of our energy, on what we think here. You're spending your energy on the actions you take, even the subconscious ones, right? When you're driving, those things you don't really have to think about, those are subconscious actions, but we're still expanding, expending energy on those things. And then what we put into our body, which is the fuel. But it even takes energy to, to turn that into, into uh, digest that and put that into some sort of energy. So the two I wanna focus on is your thoughts and your actions. If you're going to create a great life, the life that, that you want, that you desire, then you have to, you must audit how are you spending your thought energy. First, you got to start with the goal, right? Because all of this, it points towards whatever the vision is. And I think this is probably the hardest part for a lot of people. For a lot of us, because there's no vision, our energy becomes unintentional. And so therefore, these 525,600 minutes just get developed for us. Because at the beginning of the year, we didn't have any intention. We didn't have any vision for, hey, here's what I want to do. And if you're someone watching this and you, you say, you know what, Josh, I desire a better life. There's all these dreams, all these things I want to do. Well, then you have to really look at the, the rubber hitting the road. What are you doing with your energy every day? What are you doing with your thought energy? Are you using your thoughts to get closer to that goal, to get closer to that dream? Or are you wasting your thoughts on things that have nothing to do with your purpose in life? Things that might have an importance, but don't deserve all of your thought energy. And that can be anything. That can be pleasure. That can be um, leisure. That can be distractions. That can be social media. That can be politics. All of those things, what they do is they, they suck the life out of this, this, this glass container. For those of you who are listening, I'm holding up this glass container with, with water in it. It has energy written on the front of it. Because all those things I just mentioned are going to take the energy out of you. And then what do you have left to contribute towards the things that actually get you closer to designing the life you were created to live? I wish people understood just how much of their thought energy, how much that plays into designing a great life. And I'll put it this way. I was listening to a, a speaker. Uh, her name was Amy Morrison. She's a coach. And she said something that I think is so profound. It's kind of like when you think about it, it's true. It's like simple, but it's so true. She said, everything is created twice. Everything is created twice. First, it's created in our mind and then it's created in our hands. And if you think about that, just at the at the general level, 
Just think about the things you see around you. The airplane. Somebody had to think that up first. These speakers that are in front of me. This computer that's in front of me. Somebody had to think that first. Even you. <laughs> you, your existence. It says that God's thought, let us make man in our own image. We said, which came from the thought. And so when you know that everything is created twice, then you understand that the area that you really want to be intentional about is here. What are you, first off, what are you wanting to create? Second, does what you want to create align with what you are thinking? That's really what the, the bulk of the mentality of success boils down to when it comes to using these life builders. People think about time as, as far as time management. And time management is important. But you, you, the, how you manage your time is only as effective as how you manage your energy. And I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you how you manage the energy here will determine the product that you produce here. If we did a little exercise right now and I asked you over the, over the last hour before you started watching this video, what were you thinking about? Was it something underneath the umbrella of, of high impact towards that dream or goal? Or was it, just, was it just something that was just taking the life out of this? Just taking all of your energy out of here? Which one was it? And again, this is just these are assessments that to make us more aware, not to make us feel like we're not good enough or we're not smart enough or we're not doing something. It's just the more aware we are. Thank God. That means we have time now to fix it, to correct it. And so here's what I, here's what, what you need to do. You need to take your thoughts. And you need to assess. You need to assess Every thought, and this may sound like uh, hard, but it's not. And I think I spelled that wrong. That's not, <laughs> that's not how you spell assess, just so you know, guys. Um, you need to assess your thoughts. And what you want to ask is the thoughts that I'm thinking, do they align with the vision? Are they connected to the vision? of my life, the purpose of my life, the goal I have for my life. And you want to filter every thought that takes away from, from this energy and doesn't align with the vision, cast it out, throw it out the door, take your attention off of it. Do you know there's some days where I will sit because I love, I love communication, I love to debate, but there's some days I've caught myself sitting, sitting there and making up scenarios in my brain to debate about. And this may sound like harmless to some people, but I look at the clock and an hour and a half has gone by and I've sat there doing really absolutely, it's taking, <laughs> I'm taking my energy, which you only have a certain amount of this per day, mind you, and I'm using it to argue about something that doesn't even exist. That's what anxiety is. It's when you use this same, <laughs> this same asset you have of energy and you pour it out into something that doesn't even exist, that's negative for your life. That's not even going to, it's not even, not even aligned, nor is, not only is it not aligned with your vision, but it, it is anti to your vision. It is anti-vision and you're spending this valuable energy on that thing. I do it sometimes with simple things like content development. I'll think about making content. It's like, man, I don't know what to do this week. I don't know what to talk about, but people really want to care about this. People really, people even want to listen to this. Is this even helping people? And you spend, you spend an hour that you could have spent actually coming up with solutions that are helpful using this energy on something that is not aligned with the vision because the vision is to help people. The vision is to serve people. Not to sit and use this to contemplate a purpose that you've already determined. And so you want to get more intentional about 
creating your life so that no one else does for you, get intentional about how you spend and audit your energy. Get intentional about how am I spending my energy every day? How much energy do I have? Do, can, how can I get more? Maybe you need to look at that food item. I, God knows I need to, right? What are the thoughts? How am I creating things? The things that are in my hand right now, the things that are in my life right now, how did they develop in my mind first? How can I interrupt that pattern? And when you do this, you will spend a lot more of that. Get, I'm going to show you this one more time because I, I need you to get this. When you do this, you will make the best use of this right here. Your energy in, in liquid form that you put into everything you do. That's, that's a part of everything you are. You will use it to its highest potential. When you become intentional about using your energy. As a reminder, if you enjoyed this episode, this added value to your life, to your success, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification button so that you don't miss an episode. And thanks again for doing that. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you same time, same place next week, reminding you that success is your destiny. I'll see you on the next one.